armor and he's going up for this headshot peek this is good but he would need one pick and hit boot the heck out of there but it's not gonna happen smoke goes down whiz taking down woody through the smoke chop taking down jota and yeah m-i-b-r almost completely at a loss in the middle of this take rbg looking good but again two of their players is a little bit low but considering the pistol m-i-b-r still gonna try aren't they yeah they're gonna give it a shot the old college try Bolt's gonna come through, Jitter waiting, he's missing the shots, oh, and no. Bolt's manages to take him down, that makes it a 3v4, Walco is very lit as well, exit, having a peek save on board, time's running out, yeah, I think they're probably just gonna save the armor at this point, there isn't really much to go for, no. we'll get a couple, no armor saved, and Bolt continues to fire away, he doesn't have the kit anymore, and he's just trying to keep them on the bomb site. I guess, to maybe get some more money with the frags, but it doesn't happen anyway, Make him a good free agent. In goes exits. Oh, forward short. He is getting smoked out. A whole lot of utility down for RBG around the short area, but Hex is still going to be able to get one back through that smoke. Exit. He still has not been spotted yet, but I don't think anyone from RBG is going to peek him out. Woody has the full angle. Smoke should be dissipating in short soon. Woody leaves. Jitter going around the corner. And exit's not even going to be there. He's actually backed off towards site, and RBG only have three. Uh, MRBR doing a good job of holding off RBG. Woody with a nice off shot. Bolts behind the smoke. Timing could be in his favor shortly if he peeks out at the right time against Chop. The smoke comes through, and he does time it right. Chop goes down. That leaves only Jitter and Wiz. Jitter trying to come up from the apartments. He's looking for the right time to jump on out there. He's got the support of Wiz now. Maybe they can go for a quick one-two punch and get this bomb planted, but yeah, now it's over. Yocha, Ajota's kicking out. <laughs> RBG going in towards that mid side is going to be very quick up against Exit. And Exit has to expand his whole clip, yes. But with those last few bullets, he takes down his second target in Walco, and everyone else from RBG cannot trade. Jitter, once more in the apartments, and yeah, since the rifles come out, it looks like MIBR found their rhythm very quickly. Woody gets another one, Turtle drops Chop, and Jitter, well, there's the response, but it won't really be that long. Fala galera, em parceria com a Google Case, vou trazer um sorteio rápido para três ganhadores. Basta baixar o aplicativo deles no seu celular e enviar print no formulário. O primeiro leva uma carro alta, o segundo e o terceiro leva uma WP Arteris de graça. Aplicativo com mais de um milhão de usuários, você ganha moedas completando tarefa e com elas você pode abrir caixa de skins pro CSGO, é isso mesmo. Você pode retirar, basta colocar sua trade URL no aplicativo e pronto. E com o meu código Aleartes, você ganha 20 moedas de graça para você utilizar no aplicativo também. Entra pelo primeiro link da descrição, baixa o aplicativo deles, tira uma print e envia no formulário. O sorteio vai ser bem rápido e bora pro vídeo de hoje. But not just yet. Ooh. Yes, Turtle gonna be able to get one off of this yeah. right, but what else can he get? One more crossing out for the mid side. But that Molly, that Molly from Arches does it all. It covers up his opponent. Hex and Chop. Well, trying to at least take this down. Yo, Jota oh, is gonna get the 2K. Oh my goodness. Headshot on Hex, and then through the smoke, transfers to Walco. Now he's got the positioning and the advantage towards Benet. Oh, well, there you go. One general direction, and the A1 has can do damage! Oh, so oh what? And Bolt end up getting the kill. I couldn't understand for a second how that kill went down, but Bolt ends up putting the finishing touch on that big frag. And Jota, alongside the rest of the team, literally could not do anything about these frags. I would like to say that. Woody go for a bit of aggression. In fact, Woody's pushing all the way down mid, and it works. He gets one, flicks around towards all mid, gets a second before he goes down. The moment he got fragged by Wiz. Still back, but the man disadvantage. It could only get worse, and indeed it gets worse. Two men disadvantage. Bolts with another kill. Taking down Wolko and last now is Wiz in a 1v4 doing that exact same slow peek and for Bolt. Peek the rest of everything. No, he doesn't. He's backing right off oh, because RBG is heading over towards me and Jota has two free ones. Oh no, Hexton Wolko stopping in the middle of his crosshairs and now he still has two more to try to go through. No flashes left for either one of these two RBG players either. 50 seconds left. They have to swing out raw against this player. Turtle coming up from behind. Chop actually ends up killing Jota. Bolts with a spray through the smoke. Not going to be able to find anything. Instead, coming up from behind. It is still Turtle off of that banana re-entry. And he's going to be able to get this kill, isn't he? Yes, he will. 30 seconds left. Molly towards the middle of sight. Wiz in a 1v3. Yeah, Wiz. I mean, he was pretty solid with the op when uh, the chips were stacked against them. 
in that previous round a few rounds ago when they were walking on the eco but in that situation they had the man advantage on the site this time he's just gonna go down oh, as sight i think if exit and turtle come around this week, they should be able to take him down if they don't hex gets oh, one but exit does go for the trade in time to make sure that his team will maintain their edge and jota finds one more leaving only wow could offend for himself he does get one already in this 1v3 to make it a 1v2 charging up truck side 57 hp both players can be isolated for 1v1s if Wildcat plays his cards right. The problem is he doesn't have the utility and now his position has been given away. He's taken the risk to try and pre-fire around those corners. Gets Ooh, one on Bolt! Wow. In this half, but uh, again, if MIBR keeps doing well, there's not much that you can really complain about. Yeah, right? it but doesn't matter. Go. <laughs> yeah, RBG, they do have one player though. Watch out, Hex is gonna be able to get one. Can he make it a second? Picks up the AK, exit around the corner, walking right into his crosshair, but can't get more done. One player for RBG and B. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That comes through and then Bolt yeah, finds Welcome. Hey look, you know, you call him out, he's like, okay, I am still here. I can still frag on T side, gets himself a 2k, and the B side has been just blown wide open. RBG's not gonna do Apologies. anything about this. Yeah, you gotta apologize to him now. <laughs> oh man. Apologies, Bolts. Apologies. Well, <laughs> RBG, RBG. Certainly not too dejected. Uh, certainly not too apologetic either. Especially off of that 5 7 play back over towards, <laughs> back over towards Porch. But Exit is going to do something fairly similar and take down Wiz from behind Jitter. The last one remaining in a 1v4 still has an AK to try to save. But yeah, almost literally, that is the only rifle or only piece of firepower that I could have seen RBG trying to pick up after something. Waiting for the engagements to come through. Utility flying forward here for MIBR. They got two flashes and a Molotov left. Already using one of those flashes towards CT. Turtle gets the 2k on Jitter and Chop. Then oh, Bolt and Exit combined for two more. It's all happening right here as Wiz, the last one standing. No longer another 16 to 11 scoreline that RBG are on the losing end and the top of advance considering the fact that MIBR just moved to the States. So here we go, the continuation of their battle as Chop gets a big one and Long traded out by Turtle. Nice job by Turtle to get that immediate response and RBG a little soft on the defense on the A site. So they're playing a, a more passively, I believe, in from CT and Cat. And yeah, Jitter's waiting at Cat. The smoke's gonna come through. And that will guys off most of the vision. A bit of a gap on the right side that Wiz could exploit here. He's watching. He saw the foot hop over. He's trying to spam through the smoke. Jitter could be the one to make the difference here, but he missed his opportunity to connect on a headshot. And now MIBR are going to be able to get into this bomb site and likely find a plant. There it is. Bomb has been planted. Sell something back, but we do have quite a bit of crucial, crucial utility here for RBG. Double flash, and that's both ready out from Cat. Again, a prime position for it. Jitter taking on a whole lot of damage, but Wiz, he drops his flashes to the floor as he goes down to Jota. Here comes Hex. He can't get anything done in and Jota. The flash bang thrown to force him back. Now Woody spots him out, tries to tag him with the scout. Can't connect with the first shot. Has that advantage in terms of movement speed with the scout tags him now, and here come the frags. In fact, favoring RBG, but back and forth chaos. Look at this! Only Woody's left standing, and MRBR are gonna lose the round. Welcome with a two contact peak coming out from Hex. Hex is still sitting up in the CT. He has a smoke in his face, but he can't spray forward. I remember that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> one day, one day, like 15 years from now, you'll remind me. <laughs> <laughs> he's waiting over the top. The smokey jumps down and he's going to get one, maybe a second. Woody will respond, but it is a 4v2 now. A 4v1 RBG oh, battening down the a little early. I literally had to look away from my screen. <laughs> like, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. I'm like, nope, this is over. Oh, oh, oh welcome. Wolko gonna be able to get one, make it a second. Chop was actually the one to get the first. All the to... angles. Chop. For a moment, and that's the moment the girl pops up. Gets one and a second. Look at the third. No, he goes down to Hex. Oh, up to oh, RBG. RBG will go down RBG. too. And we've somehow seen this work more or less before. Uh, this. Okay, yeah. Work for a pick over. And uh, it works for two. Not exactly what I Continue expected. Continue to do the damage, and the rifles are picked up. Can't they convert though? That knee gonna do the damage. Oh boy! Touchdown and a yes. half there for Bolts. The two K of the day. You don't see it often. And then turn. Yeah, yeah. They should have taken some lessons from that. Not exactly an effective cross. 
No, I mean, uh, they got shut down this time going towards long, and they're rotating around, getting into Cat, and Hexed is there to answer. The top, but he could get a second, but doesn't. No, look at this now. Exit and Bolts find too much damage. Molotov for Cat. Bolts playing with fire right now, both literally and figuratively, and Wiz is going to take him down with the AWP. Exit the last one standing. He's just going to tuck on the site and try to hold it here. Wiz coming through. He can't get anything. Jitter takes him. We are opening frag goes to Jota this time towards long gets flashed out so he has to fall off Any re peek well probably off of that flash he's gonna have another look and he gets another frag whiz goes Whoa. down Wauko grabs his next victim no Wauko gets one tries to follow up for a second and nothing in sight for him yet but he's going to push out and try to force the issue here up on Woody he's pushed out by Walco instead an MIBR oh no I was about to say they oh. could take a bit of mid control here, but the up popping up from top mid that puts this round almost six feet under. But again, it's the last round of the half. You might as well try chop. Getting chopped up to bits. He's down to 59 HP right from behind the smoke. Out with the right click, drop off the flash. And that certainly doesn't work out. Walco doing the same with his resources already in his face. Right, right. MIBR were able to get the frags, in particular Woody with the AWP, and of course Jota at the end with two very nice ones. Here we go into the pistol. I'm not wasting any time up mine. They want to get going, and it's going to be the advantage for MIBR in the first 15 seconds of the round. 3v2, Walco and Hex continue to push up Cat. They do have a 2v1, a mini 2v1 going up here, but I think they have to win this cleanly, and they're not even going to get the opportunity because Bolts is coming in on the flank. Bolts, 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 coming up from behind, Bolts! He's down and out! MIBR, they were at the advantage real quick, but they could easily be nice. the disadvantage. The one flash, or at least the second flash that this team had. I didn't even realize that Walco still has one, but even then, limited utility. It's only the pistol round, and they absolutely make it work. Turtle now, the last one remaining in a 1v2, coming out over towards Cat. Popped out, Walco did spot him. Turtle has no idea where the second player actually is, but he's out over towards long. Turtle could be able to peek that out. Flash goes in, but it's completely missed, and Turtle, however. Second to last player for MIBR. Now Turtle's gonna throw a flashbang into the smoke. Pops out and gets Jitter with a beautiful headshot, goes around the corner and gets a second. The force by already yielding a ton of results for MIBR. Chop does get one back on Jota. Can he get a third? No, shut down by XBR. MIBR, he sees a player jump on over. Over. Smoke guising his advance. Woody continues to fire on forward. Connects on a shot. Bolts gets one as well. Pulls on the USPS and gets it done. And oh, then gets a Woody! second one. You gotta be kidding me. But either Emma. someone said it's just gonna have to be the raw oh, picks nade. coming out from Woody alongside his teammate right now. That's Bolts. Woody only gonna be able to oh. one, get one kill off of that with a nade. And it's the same thing with RBG. Or excuse me, with Bolts. Bolts only able to get one. And RBG able to make their way into the middle of sight. 3v three rifles in the hands of MIBR not so much in the hands of RBG but they can still do damage HP on turtle over towards the mid side and shop he ends up getting the headshot he needs exit oh somehow finds a pixel of the forehead of Wiz now bomb planted towards cat jitter does have to scout uh, does have the scout to use but would need headshots to make this work out goes the wide swing from jitter chop is now the last run remaining in a 1v2 with the players peaked out not exactly getting a shot either jota is gonna be taken away from hex do you still have that around on wiz the turtle he's gonna start off the on the pick on the wall from far spray going in from hex the turtle still somehow alive with three hp the spray from chop ends up hitting yeah, Still RBG have that fast. AWP to play with, so of course it goes back over towards the long side. Two players from MIBR trying to come out over towards that. Out goes the double wide swing from RBG's Hex and Chop, but both goes down. Wiz! He's out of here! Jota gets the oh, first man. shot. Well, here we go. Let's see if it works out. They're going to charge on board. Are they going to walk into a meat grinder? Oh, Looks to are. be the case. Exit gets a three piece. 5v2, RPG down to only Walco and Wiz. They're trying to reposition, but the map is quickly getting smaller and smaller as RBG are closing, excuse me, MIBR are closing the gaps. Oh, Woody. Could have at least got a shot on to try to finish up the map, but instead he has a job in the middle of sight, and that is to take down his opponent in Walco, but Walco still gets the kill anyways. Four players still remaining for MIBR. One of them, at least one of them. Is watching up that cross and making sure that Wiz can't get over. Again, 
barely any utility remaining for these RPG players, and it might just get worse. Walco goes down in a heap. Wiz is now the last one remaining in a 1v3, and he's all the way out in the open. MIBR invading North.